Hello, I'm Melanie Watt and I'm the Exhibitions Coordinator for the Hearth Gallery at the University of Hospital Landau. And we're really excited today to finally see a painting that we commissioned from artist Aidan Myers in November of last year. And um, Aidan has been conducting a huge amount of research um, and has been painting away in celebration of 70 years um, of the anniversary of the birth of the NHS. And our exhibition in the Hearth Gallery opens in July. And we're really excited today to finally see uh, the commission um, in its place in the Hearth Gallery. So thank you, Aidan, and a warm welcome. Um, this is an absolutely stunning um, painting. Thank you so much for taking part That's in great, the commission. It's great to be a part of this. I wonder, perhaps, if you could describe how you went about the project, because it was quite a... Um, a wide remit, really, yeah. in painting a celebration of 70 years of the NHS. How did you start? It's quite, quite a difficult challenge to begin with. Um, I, mean, I, I initially started with this idea of community, um, having looked at a lot of the history of the NHS throughout the 70 years. So community was the biggest kind of draw for me to make it um, more immediate and more kind of... Um, based around me because having having made the work so I think it's quite important that it has that connection with me and something that's quite something close and personal so I started by talking to a lot of people that were in users of the NHS services that were close to me so and it turned out that quite a few of them um, have come to Landock before or come here still now on a regular basis so that again had that, uh, well, I had a, a, la a layer that was quite uh, specific to here. So that was a good starting point. So I gathered all these stories and um, ideas and thoughts and energies of what people were thinking about and what their experiences are here. So that was a great kind of grounding um, and a place to start. and then that was the daunting task of how do I channel all of this and all of that history into one single painting, so... Well, it's um, fabulous. Um, I think it was Simon Sharma on that recent um, programme Civilizations who said that we need more illumina illumination and radiance in our artwork. Yeah. So we're really proud yeah. to be able to have this kind of feeling um, of hope and the title is, I believe, Resilience. Resilience, yeah. It came directly from uh, one of the one of the patients that came here I, I spoke to um, and that was the kind of general the general kind of um, idea that was coming through a lot of a lot of the people that I spoke to um, I mean that to me can be the whole resilience of um, once you're in a hospital or once you're using the services you're going to come out and feel positive about things and you're then able to kind of grow and become become better essentially um, I mean that's not always the case but that's the kind of the general trend and the dr general idea that I got from speaking to the communities that I did um, and I guess it also comes into being resilient to privatisation and things like that I mean that's the whole uh, issue of now um, and I quite like that it has that positive drive towards that not happening it's still being a public service. I mean, it's, it's really fascinating as an abstract painting or on the borderline between abstraction and figuration yeah. and the possibility that so many visitors can read lots of stories into this painting. Yeah. There are lots of layers and there are lots, lots of aspects about it. We've already had discussions today yeah. and people can and see different things in the yeah. painting. And of course, the, that represents the whole of the NHS, which is multifaceted and yeah. um, I think that's described beautifully in your painting. Yeah, it was one of the, the kind of main aspects was to think about that colour and how using thin glazes over kind of more dense areas of paint and how that literally can transcribe that um, the, the multitude and that the continual crossover of different departments and different things that happen within the whole service. And I think um, also with the layering, time is, is implicit in the painting um, and that 
links very well to the 70 years of the NHS, you know, and all of the developments and innovations that have happened during that time. Um, yeah. And it's, you, you can read that into the painting as well. It goes a long way. There's a big distance yeah. in that painting as well. Yeah, well, I like to think about kind of different areas being, um, I guess, more or closer to us or then there's other areas that are more distant and you can kind of see beyond the surface then of not just it being this um, this kind of well in, in the media I guess today we keep keep calling it as failing machine which is really not and I yes. want people to kind of see beyond the surface of that and actually see that it's doing many more things for the entire community yes. and yeah. It goes without saying that's something to be really, really proud of. Exactly. And, and it's still developing now. And I think, again, coming back to resilience, that there's more and more developments happening now than perhaps even ever before. And yes. it's yeah. kind of been hidden away behind these other layers of um, essentially well, fake news and everything else. Um, but you've got those so many developments in treatments that are available and major scientific developments now um, and they're being kind of you know pushed pushed behind this face of uh, face of fear um, it's, it's quite interesting how the painting has changed from when we last saw yeah, the painting because yeah. I remember that you had a circular um, shape which represented the community and yeah. taking that as a whole and how that's changed now into that form here which is more of a well, people can see what you know many things into that to me yeah. it's a ladder a way forward a route to yeah. another i quite like that starting point of being this as a yeah it was mainly a starting point to have that s spherical idea and how it's it was i think it was down here that was quite it ran off the the canvas so to speak so it kind of came around and went more towards the center but I can, as you're saying, you can see this as kind of a ladder or bridge into the, the future. And I kept coming back to it actually whilst I was painting. Um, that became, yeah, it was constantly in my mind actually that, that bridge idea, even though it's not specifically a representation of that, but that could be read into this. I mean, people love the NHS, we're so proud of it, aren't we? And I think that this idea of a very uplifting, um, hopeful painting is yeah. ideal for us at the 70th anniversary. Uh, we were very excited to commission you as a young artist yeah, and for you to, to produce this uh, with your that. views and, and your opinions it, um, created in the work. So thank you. Thank you very much.